Yelp Volcano Study found, there's almost nothing you can do, in an eruption. A Yellowstone volcano eruption simulation found that there was hardly anything people living near the supervolcano could do if it wanted it to erupt. Yellowstone National Park is perhaps one of the most famous wilderness areas in North America. This is featured in the new Netflix series, Our Great National Parks, narrated by former President Barack Obama. The five saw him visit various national parks in the U.S. while sharing their history and environment, exploring the flora and fauna that call the area home. While Yellowstone is known for its incredible natural beauty, what really attracts millions of visitors and scientists alike is its supervolcano status his. Only had three eruptions in the last three million years, the last occurring 630,000 years ago, which is 1,000 times as massive as the 1980 Mount Street, Helen's eruption, an event that caused over $1 billion, 741 million pounds, in damage. During the eruption finally, the sheer volume of material caused the ground to collapse, creating the basin now known as the caldera, 55 kilometers wide by 80 kilometers wide. Subsequent eruptions are thought to have catastrophic effects around the world, and were explored during the short documentary What If? What If the Yellowstone Volcano Erupts Tomorrow? Here, a simulation of Yellowstone's eruption and its ensuing effects is played out. The narrator notes, Right now, in the US, one of the world's largest volcanoes is preparing to explode. If Yellowstone decided to erupt, the results would be catastrophic. It has erupted three times in the last three million years which has some people wondering whether we should be worried about another eruption in the near future. But if an eruption happens tomorrow and you live in North America, there's almost nothing you can do to prepare. It should be noted that in geological and volcanic terms, near future, could mean hundreds of thousands of years away. The documentary looks at the potential for lava output, noting that Yellowstone will produce little lava flows. Before lava becomes lava, it is something known as magma. But most of Yellowstone's magma wouldn't turn into lava because the intensity of the eruption would force most of it to shoot up into the sky. So instead of becoming magma, it would turn into airborne ash particles, little jagged pieces of rock that scorched itself. Potentially lethal. <laughs>